Okay, so the standard feeding that everyone sees is where the gloves are here, where the rear glove symbolizes the front of my face, and the lead glove symbolizes the side of my face here, front of my face, side of my face. Now, one thing that I particularly stress is when I'm feeding the gloves, I don't want to stand here and have the gloves here because now he's fighting somebody over here. So I want to line up my gloves to where he is. So I'm going to be slightly off center when we do the drills. So you've seen in these other drills, we'll go slow. I'm not going for speed or power, but just to give you an idea that I can feed in combination. So in this instance, we're going to do the jab, cross, hook. We'll go slow again. So jab, cross, and hook. Okay, good. All right, so again, jab, cross, hook. Now he has to, has to do the same thing in response, and I can vary the timing and the rhythm on that. So I can put it up at both. Okay. I can put one up. keep the drill alive for your partner. Okay. The other thing to watch out as a coach is make sure, okay, I'm going to have him freeze on a cross, okay? make sure that immediately the first thing that you draw back is what? It's going to be the elbow because he needs to cover that right away because it's, when he throws that cross, for example, if I roll, that's going to be my first shot. So if I can roll off that cross, that's the shot I'm looking for or boom, that uppercut. So as, as he draws that cross, he needs to bring that elbow down and back quickly. So he's just going to do the cross and recover, cross and recover. So me as a feeder, I'm going to make sure that he's keeping his guard. And he's covered. He's covered. Same so can be done from the front. Go ahead. He's got to cover right away. He has to be aware of where I am. So slow. He's going to bring that out. See, I can follow this hand back. So he has to be aware of where his hands are. Whether I'm coming straight back with this or whether I'm going to come in with this hand or this hand. So that's another element to keep the drill very alive. He's always covering. See, now he's going to be more thoughtful of his motions. Because before, he just knows he's doing a drill. Damn, I'm done. I've done my combo. I'm good to go. But now he's got this feeder on the other side. He's trying to hit me. God, in real life, no one would ever try to hit me in a fight. That's weird. Okay? So you want to keep your partner alive with that. Now, another type of feeding that we've done before, aside from moving, is, again, response drills. So where you have the gloves down, again, he has to respond. Now, this can be a hand-foot motion. It can be foot-hand or it can be all-hand. It doesn't matter. And then you have the movement with that. Okay? And then from there, we went on to what's called a jimmy jam. So now you're giving resistance to the glove. So now it has to develop a different type of rhythm and timing because I'm going to feed the gloves harder and faster. So we're just going to go jab across right now. So on this one, see, I'm feeding this for the jab, bam, and I'm feeding this for the cross. So he has to time that. He has to reach full extension of that blow before this glove gets right here. So he has to time that. I'll just use the jab for this moment. See, so he's got to beat me to that. Okay, so as I'm feeding, I'm applying pressure by slapping at his hand. And I can vary that. I can put it here. See, now he doesn't know if I'm going to feed here short or if I'm going to come all the way in. But either way, he has to beat me to that blow. So he has to pretty much predict what I'm going to do. Then I can move. Okay, now we'll do the one, two. Now going back to what I said earlier, now I have to keep him mindful with the drill is. So we're going to go one, two again. He's got to remember to cover. Okay. So now he's a lot more active. So what I'm trying to do in this attempt is pretty much almost like the idea of separating the mind. So he's getting me that hook here, bam, long enough to get me to cover so now he can bend that knee. Boom, which is going to bring me down and close enough to him so he can finish with that rear cross, or rear straight. Okay, so again, bam, bam, right? I feed this back, he rolls, cross, hook, boom. So as a feeder, I can do one of two things. We go here, here, I feed this back, he comes back with that. He's going to take the hook, I can put this glove here so it's already there. Okay, or after that hook punch, when quick enough, I can bring the glove down. Now, there's also two ways to feed 
for the hook itself. I can offer resistance by putting it on the inside of my leg. So now I have to push off that kick. So what I'm doing is hitting with that or pushing with both. Give me a little resistance. Okay? The other way is to put the glove down. Boom. Okay? Another way actually is to just let him take the kick on my leg. Boom. And that would be more of a conditioning phase drill. So he's actually got to put the kick on me. So now as the feet, I have to react to him. So we'll start off slow again. We're here, here, I feed that back. Bum, bum, bum. So again, pop, pop, cross, one, two. So that pop, pop, feed that, follows me out, takes that shot, takes advantage of that shot. Bam, bam, feed that back. Bum, bum. Okay. 